So the 21st mitzvah, Hasivoy shenistavenu li'ir au to abayt haniskar me'od me'od. The mitzvah to have reverence for the Bet HaMikdash, me'od me'od, much reverence to the Bet HaMikdash. Ad shenikba lo belibenu mekom ha'ir av ha'ra'ada. To we establish in our hearts a place of reverence and trembling. Bezoi morat mikdash. And that is the reverence of the mikdash. Fiyom ro yit alleh. This is what's said in Perashat Kedoshim. Umikdashi tirao. Vehagdarat yir azo. Kemon shi iskiru ba sifra. This is explained in the sifra. Eze humora. What is this reverence of the mikdash? Lo yikanes la rabayit pe maklo. Ubin min alo. Uba afundato. Uba abak che al raglav. A person should not enter the harabayit with his staff, with his shoes, and with his money belt, and with dust underneath his feet. Don't make Makoma Mikdash harabayit a shortcut. And of course, Mikava Homed, one should not spit by the Mikdash. In some places in the Talmud, already explains to us. The only ones allowed to sit in the Azara of Mikdash are the kings of Bet Avid. It says in the Torah to have reverence to my Mikdash. And this is required forever. Even in these times, when the Bet HaMikdash is destroyed because of our sins, regardless, we still have a hayuv of Mora'at Mikdash. So sitting by Harabayit in the Azara is Asur. And here you can find these halakhot in Mishneh Torah, in Halakhot Bet HaBechira. If you look at Perek Zayin, Halakha Vav, he brings a pasuk from which we know that only Malchai Bet David could sit in the Azara. Shneemar vayyabo hamel David vayeshev lifnei Amonai. That he sat in front of God. It was only kings from Malchut Bet David. Now, Velashon Sifra. Sifra says, "En li el labis manche Bet Mikdash kayam." I only know I have to have reverence to the Mikdash when it is existent. How do I know it's even when it's not in existence? The Torah connects keeping Shabbat with Yirat Mikdash. Just like Shemirat Shabbat is forever, also the reverence of the Mikdash is forever, that even the place of the Mikdash where it stood, Harabayit, which today we should be careful to make sure the yirat, the yirat of that makom is there, even when one is at Har Habayit, to make sure that the proper, proper respect is there. Misham amru od, lo mina mikdash atayare, illa mimishi pakad al mikdash. You're not fearful of the mikdash itself, but rather of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, who instructed the, the, the laws regarding the mikdash. And with that we understand whether it's, whether it's in existence or not, we still have the reverence of HaKadosh Baruch Hu regarding the Mikdash. The 22nd Mitzvah. Hasivu shini stavenu li shmoret HaMikdash, to guard the Mikdash. Velesebo tamid v'chol layla, mezhe kol alala, velechabedo, uromimo, ugadelo. The Mitzvah here being to watch over the Mikdash all night in order to honor it and to raise it up. V'omro yitale le'aron, ve'ata u'banecha itach l'fino ala edut. This is what was said to the Kohanim, Aaron and Banav, and his descendants to watch over the Mikdash. Kilomar, attempt you the Fanav Tamid, you should always be there. Uchbar, Nichbal, Zivoizebel Shonacher, Vomro, Mishameru, Emishmeret, or Moed, but it says in Sefer Bemidbar as well, to watch over the Mishmeret, the guard of the tent of meeting, or Moed. Velashon Sifri. Atau Banecha Itak, the Fnoa Laidut, Hakoanim, Mibifnim, Alvim, Machot. It's not only for the Kohanim, it's the Kohanim on the inside and the Levim on the outside guarding it. Kilomar, Lishmira, Ulhalicha Sibibo. Umechilta, Amru, Kilshon, Azeh. 
מחירתה, it says, ושמרו את משמרת עול מועד. אלני אלא בעשה, מנין ולא תעשה. אתם לא נאמר, ושמרתם משמרת הקודש. So how do we know? We know that guarding the mikdash is a misfat aseh. How do you know it's a lot to aseh? The mechilta brings a pasuk. From this, Harabam is proving that it is at least a misfat aseh. He nilet nitpare lecha yeshimira to misfat aseh. V'sham amru kidula kidula la mikdash sheyesh alei shomrim lo dome paturin sheyesh alei shomrim the paturin sheyesh alei shomrim a palace. that doesn't have guards, and does have guards, they're not the same, they're different. One that does have guards is at a higher level. Because of the greatness of this palace, talking about the Beit HaMikdash, there should be guards constantly there watching over. וכבר נתבארנו כל דיני מצווה זו, פרק א', א' ממסכת תמיד וממסכת מידות. already described and explained all the מצוות and the דינים related to this in מסכת תמיד in פרק א' and in מסכת מידות. ברוך אדוני לעולם, אמן ואמן.